In today's Flashworks CRM tutorial, I will show you everything needed to know to successfully implement the Flash Sales CRM onto your business. So to get started, simply just head over to the Flash Sales website. I will also leave a link for that down below and then make sure to basically get started with a 21 day free trial. So I'm just going to continue with Google right now. And then we will have to put in our company as well as our phone number. Once we've did so, we will have to select the industry that we are going to be in. Now, basically Fresh Sales is going to give us six default options. However, by clicking right here, you can then actually also access a lot of other industries. In my case, I'm just going to use business services as for this example tutorial. So I'm just going to get started right now. And now we are going to be redirected onto the Fresh Sales dashboard, which is going to look something like this. So first of all, we are going to get started in the context view. We are also going to have the accounts view, deals view, as well as conversation, analytics and settings, but more on that in just a second. First of all, it is important to understand that the CRM basically is used to store and organize all of your customer data. And there are two different terms which are super Super important to understand first of all accounts and contacts now basically an account is just a company that you're going to deal with and that you are actually in the end going to pay the money to and the contact is going to be the contact person in that company which you are going to talk to which you're going to send emails to which you're going to have meetings with and so on so this is important to understand right now we are on the contact view where we can then for example see Spectre Callista this would be a sample contact he is the co-founder of tech cave the actual business which we are going to actually deal with so actually i'm going to opt out of this for now rather i'm going to get started by adding a new contact from scratch however if you guys do already have existing contacts from other providers you can easily import them by either using any of the pre-made uh, integrations which you can see right here or by simply just using a csv or excel file this is going to be the industry norm so no matter which tool you're migrating from this is going to work i'm not going to do that right now i'm rather going to add a new sample contact and let's just name this harry at the hogwarts.com okay and then as for the first name this would be harry last name would be potter and then as for the account we will have to add a new account onto this so i'm going to just add hogwarts onto this this is just going to be example data obviously as for ceo uh, as for the job title i'm going to say he's the ceo and i'm just going to leave the mobile blank for now so let's now save this and this right here basically is going to be the overview of our contact right here we can then right away see the status of our contact we can see all of the data points which we actually added and additionally if you guys do want to add new fields onto your contacts you can do so by adding this right here so for example you can add other things like less assigned ad you're only going to have these fields available right here either way let's head back to this view right here we can then see all of the data points we can actually add notes onto this so that when for example a team member is going to access this they are going to understand how this is going to work essentially uh, and then you can then actually also add deals add meetings mails and so on but more on that in just a second then you can also see the contact details you can see the recent conversations activities accounts as well as the deals right here on the left as well and you can also add files onto this exact contact which is then being used later on now i'm not going to opt out of this let's now continue with the accounts view so this would be the company and right here, we can then right away see Hogwarts. Our related contact for this would be Harry Potter. And we can now actually also add a website onto this if you do want to. And same as before, we can actually also add a new column onto this if we do want to add new data points onto our account. Additionally, we can also add custom columns by using this right here. We will just have to add a field label and we are going to then have a lot of different options. As for the actual field, you can then actually also put in tooltips group these and so on. I'm not going to do this right now. And we can then actually also change the account view by using these tabs right here on the top. So right now, as we only have 10 accounts added, this doesn't really make too much sense as this either way seems pretty organized. However, you can actually set these views up to basically only show a certain amount of people of your accounts. You can basically subdivide your accounts and much more. And then we are going to get to the deal stage. Now, basically in CRMs mostly, you are going to have what we call a pipeline 
which is going to be used to kind of visualize all of your deals. So right here, this would be a kind of card view where you can then actually see all of your deals. You can drag them around depending on the state of your deal. And then the basically details are going to be automatically updated. So right here, as you can see by default, we are going to have new qualification, discovery, demo, negotiation, as well as one and lost. However, we can actually also customize our pipeline by clicking on settings right here. We can then set the pipeline name, the deal stages. So basically we can customize them or we can also add new deal stages altogether. We can change the probability and we can then actually also change the closing stages if we do want to. In my case, I'm just going to leave this at the default. However, it is important to know that you can customize this right here. Additionally, you can also customize the uh, one second you can also customize the actual cards which are going to be visible so basically the deal cards you can customize these by once again clicking on settings and by then clicking on customize deal cards you can then actually feel basically change which fields shouldn't show you can actually select expanded card and then this is going to basically be more expanded and so on basically you can just customize your cards additionally you can once again change the view of this so you can for example change this to recent deals and now this is only going to show the recent deals which have been created in the last couple of days. And now um, it is really important to understand, let me actually show you this, if we are going to click on any of these deals, uh, right here, eCorp Renewal for example, we are going to have this recent conversation step. Okay, this actually is a bad example, let me head over to contacts and let me for example use this Jane Sample Town thing, uh, contact. And then once we are going to click on the recent conversations, we can see that fresh sales actually automatically synced up the email that we have sent out and they, we can then actually also see if if this email has been opened, if this email has been clicked on and so on. And basically Fresh Sales does this by integrating onto your email provider. So essentially we can use Gmail, Outlook, Soho, as well as all of the other providers here. And we can then actually also set up phones. We can set up SMS as well as sales sequences. Now sales sequences kind of are a little bit more advanced. I think not a lot of you are actually going to use this. However, I'm going to make a separate tutorial on this in the future. So make sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on that. And then right here on the analytics we can then basically see a general overview of all of the different dashboards now as we are only going to have sample data this isn't going to show up right here but either way this is a great way of actually keeping track of all of the data inside your different dashboard and you can then actually also see the admin settings right here so this would just be the back end settings for your deals so right here you can then actually change if there should be related contacts which are required should these be read only and so on on. you can add new fields and much more this once again is a little bit more advanced and you aren't really going to use this altogether too much now you can by the way also use this plus icon right here and um, to actually basically quick add different kind of actions you can then actually also access your profile right here you can set up a knowledge base and so on now fresh sales is a decent crm don't get me wrong however i've recently made a free quiz for you guys to take to find out the perfect crm for your business so if you guys do want to take that i will leave you a link for it down below make sure to like and subscribe i will see you in the next one